everybody, welcome back to your Feisty Fire videos. My name is Alexandra Kilworth and welcome back to my channel. Uh, Pierre, you're very noisy today. You want to come say hi? You want to come say hi? No, you want to come say hi. You got squeak here. <laughs> Hello, baby. I got this way. And I believe you can see Pierre messing around in the tunnel. <laughs> so, I asked you guys on Instagram what video you wanted to see next and almost everyone wanted a squeak update. For those of you who don't know or are new to the channel, I adopted that um, squeak, the albino ferret you just saw, back in April. Uh, so it'll be about four months, almost five, um, what should we call it, five months. And yeah, it can take a while for ferrets to settle into new environments, especially with new ferrets. So um, I did uh, do sort of an update video a few months ago, um, like a month or so in, to see how it was doing. Yeah, squeak. So, I figured enough time has passed. Let's do another update. Isn't that right? Another update? How you doing? You're doing good. You little fat so. You little chunky monkey. <laughs> so overall, the main issue that I had with squeak settling in was the fact that Pierre can be a rough player. He likes to play rough, <laughs> he likes to play with his brother, don't you? And the um, thing is that Squeak was bullied by his um, biological brother back in his original home and that was sort of causing a lot of anxiety for him and that was the main issue that I was worried about. I was worried <laughs> that Pierre would be too rough <laughs> and, you know, be a bit too bombastic. A bit too bomb bombastic. <laughs> as you can see. Um, also, as you can see here, Pierre is very excitable. He is very playful and happy. And the thing is, he never really rough plays with Balthazar. So I'm not sure if maybe it's say like, just Balthazar is a very, very chilled out ferret. So maybe it's just the fact that he just knew that Balthazar wasn't going to join in. But on good days, Pierre and Squeak will happily play together with no issues whatsoever. And it's Squeak, treat him here. And it's very sweet. And they play together most days. It's just the fact that Pierre can be a bit rough. However, in the months um, since that last video, it's, the last couple of videos, it has been going very well. Um, there have been a lot less, um, what should we call it, rough play fighting. I mean, still play fight, but when I, when I say rough, or like when it's gone too far, I count that as whenever there's any bleeding cuts or any um, poop, because obviously those are warning signs that it's getting too much and it's not good. <laughs> like, there may be some squeaking and whatnot, but if, as long as there's none of the of those sort of signs, then I consider it to be okay. And when that does happen, like so I separate them and whichever one instigated it, usually Pierre, I will put in a timeout for like three minutes. And like so that has been happening a lot less, which is good, isn't it baby? <laughs> you want a treat? You want your treat? <laughs> yeah, it's been happening a lot less, which I'm really happy about. Because for a while there, Things weren't really changing, it was sort of all staying the same, you know, same amount of play fights, same amount of incidents, but it was it's a lot less now and I'm very happy about that. I feel like Squeak is a lot happier now. Um what should we call it? Yeah, I feel like he is a lot happier now. I feel like he's a lot more confident, he doesn't really have any <laughs> anxiety now which i'm really glad about and i keep in touch with his with the lady from the fairy rescue that i got him from near lane and home i sent the videos and updates and saying yeah, he's doing really well and in the future i would like to take him to some ferret shows once um, i've worked on his people confidence because although he's fine with me handling him he gets a bit antsy about other people handling him which is understandable so um that's my current goal just working on how he is with people guys <laughs> um and the good thing is i know that it's not stressful for him because he showed no signs of stress 
Um, and also, as much as Pierre instigates fights, you continue them. Pierre may start the playing, but you continue it. You go after him, and I've seen you drag him by the neck. You silly, silly baby. <laughs> so yeah, I know that for all that Pierre starts it, Squeak continues it. Um, so ultimately, I'm not that worried about his well-being. I think he's very happy. He is showing no signs of illness or stress. And um, it's together very well now. It's very cute. Um, don't you? You're good boys now. He really likes um, both little balls. Um, and you know, we got some very cute, playful behavior. <laughs> and we like playing with the tunnels. <laughs> and it is very cute. This is meant to be here. Like so sometimes it's this where there'll be some squeaking and they'll go for the next but they usually stop and if I pull them apart that usually ends it before it gets to a point of upsetting one of them. So yeah I'm not actually <laughs> too worried about how he's doing. I think he's doing great. I'm gonna do another update video in like seven eight months time where like they should have fully settled in together by now um because like i said some ferrets it can take ages to settle in sometimes it can take like up to a year i was really lucky with balthazar because they settled in instantly <laughs> there are no issues he settled in instantly they are fine and i'm really glad but obviously every ferret is different and it's not always going to be a smooth ride. They still don't share the same cage every night. Squeak still sleeps in this one. Because if they are in enclosed spaces together for too long, they start getting very antsy with each other. Um, and I worry that if I keep him in the same cage every night, I won't hear when something happens as one of them could get hurt. So currently I'm doing supervised cage time together and I'll keep them in the same cage for the evening as in when I'm going to bed and then before I go to sleep I'll put them back into separate ones just to get them used to the idea that eventually they may have to go in the same cage together. There's also a lot of this. <laughs> I actually see Pierre stashes Squeak occasionally and it's quite funny because until Squeak won't mind it until I get my phone out and start recording and then suddenly Squeak's like, oh, I don't like this. <laughs> and it's quite funny. But yeah, we get this sort of play fighting, which is absolutely fine. There may be some squeaking, but there's no blood, there's no poop, no urine, it's all fine. And Squeak is obviously fine. So, yeah. Pretty much it for today. Um, everyone wants to know how he's doing? He's doing great. I'll go do another update video in like three or four months time, but I seeing everything should be fine. Uh, so yeah, that's all for today. I hope you guys liked this like video. If you did, please like and subscribe for more ferret-related content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!